Hello everyone, it's Pretzel here and we are in Adopt Me today and I'm going to show you my luxury apartment building that I bought. It was 8000 Adopt Me dollars and unfortunately I had to spend all of the money that I was saving to try and become a millionaire here. And I also spent the rest of it on decorating a lot of the units. But let's get started. I'm also going to show you some of the things that I did to build out little areas just to add some flavor to it. And yeah, let's get inside. So this is the entrance to our luxury apartments. It has, okay, so here's what I did. I made these giant pillars by stacking these new shapes that came with the updates. I'm gonna show you what the shapes are right here. Go to stuff, go to simple shapes, and you're gonna have these blocks, right? And this is the large block, and right next to it is the smaller block. In order to make this really, really giant pillar, I literally just stacked them like this, and I colored them. You can color them any color that you want and this is a great way for you to fill up the space because when you buy this apartment complex it's gonna have a ton of empty space when you look up that might make it seem like it's a little barren but this will help you fill it up the other tip that I have is that you can use these glass barriers to not only close it off so that when you have people that are checking in, they can't just like run in and troll. But it also still makes it look really open because they are see-through. And what you do is this. When you check someone into your apartment complex or hotel, you add them to your family. And that way, once you get all your units filled and you want to lock the place down, you just click lock and your family members will not be teleported out. So that's a little tip that I have. So here's what I do. I also put a little area over here for your pets so that our tenants can leave and come back and quickly take care of the pets without having to go all the way inside into their units because that can take a long time we also have water here for our people to be able to feed their you know kids and stuff yeah so here we go let me just look around really quickly before we go to the next part Alrighty, and here's what i also did if you want to be able to put the words on the glass you're gonna have to use a barrier. Let me show you really quickly in case you guys are new. So go to stuff, go to this. You have your barrier right here. And what you do is you put your barrier behind whatever, you wherever you want the sign to sit, and you move it up like this. Then you place the sign on it, and then you delete the barrier. So that's how you get to put signs in the air, or pretty much anywhere you want in the game. And the same, the same goes for items. Alright, let's get inside. The last thing I want to tell you guys is that I put a bunch of signs here, so that when we have guests checking in and out, they know which vacancies are available. I have three completed units. If someone checks into unit A, I go up here and I change it to their name, like let's say Clara checks in. I change it to Clara so that I can remember who is where and so that new people know what's available. When the hotel is open, this door is put, this glass barrier is moved to the side like this. So my tenants can come and go as they please. Alright, here we have the little sign for swimming. Unfortunately, I didn't decorate down here. That's because my plan is to make this an area that has a spa. A breakfast bar and something else you guys can let me know what else you think should be in the comments <laughs> all right so now we're going up to unit a out here i just put the little floor plates rugs simple shapes um the terrarium and the magic candles and i label each unit as unit a b c or d so that people can easily find their house so for this one, I tried to make it look realistic. It's not as cartoonish as most of my Adopt Me houses. We have our full kitchen here. This is the new refrigerator that was a part of the update. I 
I also put this glass barrier here because when people try to break into the apartment units, if they're not tenants here, they will sneak um, to the balcony and they disturb my tenants and yeah, this kind of helps stop them from doing that. You have to come in through the front door if you want to check in. I don't actually charge people to live here if I'm just hanging out. I just put the register there for like role play. All right. This room is the same as um this is uh, the default room i literally just put some wallpaper in here but i left the furniture the same it's just a little pet room now over here is the bedroom this is the restroom let me shut this door right here uh oh i might be lagging a little okay yeah i'm lagging Alright, now we're going to go upstairs to unit B. Oh, and the sun, the sun has gone down. Alright, so as you can see here, I also put the glass barriers all the way up to the ceiling because I noticed that people would try to break in. If they weren't living here, they would, they would fly their pets and they would try to go all the way to the top to get through the holes. So I filled every single hole up with a barrier. If you plan on making a hotel or an apartment building and you wanna keep your building open all the time, you're gonna to need to do this too. Otherwise, you'll have people trying to troll you. Now we're entering unit B. I used some of the new simple shapes to make some little wall art. I mixed the donut making counters to make, oh man, the chairs are messed up, but I'll fix it later. I just put them together to make a really long table. Here we have our kitchen. I covered the door intentionally so that no one can try and sneak into their units, like so no trolls can get in. Crab donuts. And then over here, I just mixed the gingerbread furniture with the donut shop furniture, some rugs, some platforms, the thick size ones. And this is the donut table. Now this room isn't my favorite, honestly, but it is what it is. I just, same thing, donut furniture and gingerbread furniture. And then we have our restroom here. All right, so now we're going up to unit C. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, no, there's not. Unit C is my second favorite because of the color, the color theme that I have going on in here. In order to get the floor out here, I just put a little thin plate, thin little floor plate. This is a little, it's not a real bookshelf. Um, the ones that the game has in stuff, I don't like the way that they look because you cannot change the color. So watch this. Yeah, you can change the color of these bookshelves, so you can make your own just by using barriers, rugs, and bricks. Yeah, make it any color that you want. I'll put some vanity mirrors in there. I decided not to give this unit a kitchen. And yes, that was intentional. This is the default room that it comes with. It's just a pet room, so I left it like that. Dining area our living room now for this you see this back here this is the new tv that was just added it is the modern tv now if you don't like the color of the tv and you want to change it this is what you do here it is right as you can see it comes with black um shelves and i didn't really like that because the theme for my room was like pink, white, and blue. And when you try and change the color of this, it does not change the color of the shelves. It just changes the color of the backdrop. So in order to do like my own little custom one, I literally just, let me show you what I did. Um, let's go back to edit. Put this back here. Um, what I did was I put it against the wall. Go to stuff. There's a lot of things you can use for it. 
because this is the one that I used. So here's what you do. You put it up against the wall. You go to grid size and make it small. Now you can move it around and you move it right above. Actually, you move it right under the shelf like this. And then you go back down here and you go to brick. You grab your brick and you rest it on top of there. Make sure you line it up properly. There we go. Change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna change mine to yellow, just, there we go. And remove the barrier. And now you have your own little custom colored shelves. So yeah, that's how I did this entire one over here. And let's delete this so that I can get my money back. Cause I only have $300. So yeah, I'm kind of broken about me again. Rest in peace, becoming a millionaire. Now we're going into the room. I just put a little closet, a little makeup area, another TV, but I didn't make this one custom because the theme in here was pink, black, and white. So it actually went with it. Just laid a little platform up here. Sewing machine, vanity, rug, and then we have our bathroom. All right guys, so for the next two units, they are actually closed off and that is intentional because I have a role play coming up in here and the role play has some secrets. So this is, you will see what happens once I release the series. But yeah, this is blocked off. And the other one upstairs is also blocked off. Well, Nezzy, my friend, had actually visited so I removed this to let her go inside. There's nothing in this one yet. But this is like the penthouse unit. It's the largest apartment in this apartment update. It's very huge. This is gonna cost a lot of money to decorate this one. It has more rooms than all the other ones. And yeah. Okay guys, so let's put my wall back because it is under construction. There we go. And that's it for this video. Let me know which one is your favorite room, guys. And if you think you have an idea of what is behind Unit D, the secret one, let me know in the comments. If you get the right answer when I make the role play, I'll make sure to shout you out. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys, and good luck on decorating your apartment. You know the job.